Hi guys, welcome to Fernbus Coach Simulator. Okay, so Fernbus, what is Fernbus? It's a coach simulator. It's strictly not a bus simulator, because in a bus simulator you drive around a city and pick people up and take them to other stops within the city as a rule. With this you drive between cities. So first thing I'm going to do is just have a quick look at the settings menu and controls and you can see it's found my steering wheel controller and my track IR and if you click assistant it enables you to calibrate your steering wheel it's really easy get any problems let me know if you click on the coach we're going to be driving the man lions coach as you go down here you can see all the different um, settings that you can set buttons for basically so there's lots and lots of different things you can set buttons for um, on your controller depending on how many buttons you've got okay so what I'm going to do is just hit reset profile just so you can see from the start how you set up so the first thing you have to do very much like Euro Truck if you played that is select a starting point and I'm going to select castle in the center of the map because then it means we can go Within this circle, we can go to any of those towns. So that gives us a fair bit to go out from there. So we'll select that. Get rid of the new screen and hit start game. Okay, so we're going to put career mode. And the first thing we need to do is create a route. Because at the moment we have no route to drive. So we'll hit new. We're going to give it a route number route number one you can uh, give it a root name if you wish uh, don't really matter but you can but I'm going to click on castle so that's the Bahnhof at castle and I'm going to go to Paderborn bus Bahnhof so that's where we're going Ca castle to Paderborn our first route just a short one but it'll get us going okay so hit next and realistic difficulty and start game Okay, so now it's going to load in the map for our route that we've selected. Now this does take a while, but it will get there before too long. You just need to wait for it to load. And then we will be at the depot and we have to drive down to the bus station, pick up our first passengers and go from there. Okay, so here's the bus, so let's go inside. So just use the up arrow on the keyboard to move forward and then left mouse button will open the door. Here I go. Enter your driver's seat by pressing C. Now it tells you a few other things you need to do. So you activate the dis destination display with Z. You must do that. If you don't activate your destination display, nobody will get on because they don't know where the bus is going. Okay, start the ignition by pressing E. And then hold E, start the engine. Okay, now press down on your brake and page up, we'll put it in gear. And spacebar, we'll take the parking brake off. Okay, now we have to at this point close our front door because our front door is open as you can see. And I've got the button set as F5 to do that. The default is F9. You might want to change that for using track IR because F9 is also the key that disables track IR. So every time I was trying to close my door, I was disabling my track IR, which obviously I don't want to be doing. Okay, so you can see the city looks pretty cool. Let's drive out a bit. Is there anything coming? No. So we're okay to get on the road and we're going to follow the sat nav in the bottom right corner down to the bus station. Mm. Traffic lights on red so we'll just pull up here and hit space to put the parking brake on which it's a good thing to do when you'll be stuck at a traffic light for a few seconds or so. It's always good to enable your parking brake, prevents any chance of you rolling forwards or backwards slightly. Okay, there we go. Let's take the parking brake off. And off we go.
So we are due to pick up our passengers at 10 o'clock. It is now 9.47. So we have 13 minutes of game time to get there. It should be plenty. But if you're there early, you can skip time forward when it comes to it, once you've checked in your passengers and everything. But we'll see that in a while. Put the parking brake on again. City looks quite nice, I must say. Graphics are really good. So hopefully this light is going to change in a minute. There's nothing going across us, so they need sensors on these lights by the look of it. They're clearly timed. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, so around this corner. The buildings do look good, I must say. Okay, so we're coming to typically the lights change. Come to a right hand turn here, I was going to say, but unfortunately the lights decided to change on us. So again, we're going to have to stop and put the parking brake on and wait for a red light. Quite a few traffic lights in the cities, I don't know if that's realistic to Germany. Excuse me, taking a drink. <coughs> stop my throat getting dry. Been suffering a cold recently. Okay, so ooh. with a bit of luck, these lights are going to change very soon, and we'll be on our way down to the bus station. My word, they've been red for quite a while, and absolutely nothing has gone across. There we go. We're off. Okay, so traffic lights are traffic lights. What can you do? Okay, so here's the bus station. So I'm going to pull into the bus station. And on our right, you will probably see some people. Just about see them on our right hand side. They are our passengers waiting for this bus. So we are going to pull up here. Okay, put the handbrake on, open the front door, C to move out your seat. Just need to move the mouse down and then up arrow to move outside. Okay, first thing I need to do is open the luggage compartment. If you don't open the luggage compartment, they won't get on because they need somewhere to put their luggage. Okay, so you can now see it says checking passenger with left mouse button. So I need to log into my phone device here. And this lady wants to go from Castle to Paderborn, which is fine, that's where we're going. Her name is Elisa Strouch. Now, Elisa Strouch is on the list at number eight, so she's pre-booked, so I can oh, check her in. My side, bitte sehr. Okay, this goes, guy's going Castle to Paderborn, and he's on the list, check him in. Suspiciously like the same guy, twin brother perhaps, going the same way. Yusuf Armbruster, yes, you're fine, off you go. Barnhof to Padawan, Melinda Strumpf, yeah, she's on the list, there you go. So all these people have pre-booked tickets. Madden Steiner, yep, you're on the list, there you go. Hello, bitte sehr. Emmanuel Klug, yes, he's on the list, on you go. Miran Ant, he's on the list, he's fine. Castle to Paderborn. Miguel Brower, yes, he's on the list, he's fine. Ah, now this lady wants to buy a ticket. So we need to... Find our destination on the list. Paderborn. Hit check. And then scan the code. She's done. My side here, my ticket. Ruben Kratz. Ruben Kratz is on the list. Check him in. 
Final compatible Eliano Engelman. Yes. Tick. Okay, so looking around, there is nobody else here. That's fine. Yeah, sometimes you will get people who are trying to get on the wrong bus. They've got a ticket to go somewhere completely different. So you have to um, basically tell them, no, 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 wrong bus. Okay, so if we go to key 7, I'm just going to put on some lights and we've got a tank full of petrol so we have no problems there key 5 takes you to this view so we need to enable the Wi-Fi, the kitchen, the restroom reading light, passengers light we also need to put on the passengers monitor the air conditioning which I will set to 21 ok now we also need to play the announcement and We'll listen to it on this journey. On the next one, we'll just get going and not bother to listen to it all. But I'll let you listen to it the first time. Hello und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. And you'll find it's in German. Not surprising. German bus simulator. Okay. Key two takes you back to this view. Okay. In den Sitztaschen vor euch so just listen to this guy mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos the good thing is und Getränke in a minute eine there's an English version because I wouldn't understand all of this German wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein unser Reisetipp fürs Internet schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen kein Problem Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Final Steckdosen Bus Station. und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. So ich tue über Sign to do with Smartphones there. Holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich Quite a long announcement, as you can tell. Which is why I'm not going to listen to it every time we go anywhere because it's. E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt. It should be the end of German, I think. Okay. Hello and welcome. To Hello and welcome. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus. So we've got to wear their seat belts. Please keep your seat belt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets. Power outlets at the seats charge your battery. If you would like you're browsing the internet. It's pretty cool. Simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. So your app on the smartphone to get the discounts. Simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. I think this is close to the end. Email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas. Sack the driver will probably be their suggestions, right? But there you go. Hey ho. We can finally set off. Okay. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Okay, so if I hit the escape key and then click on the clock here, you can skip forward to one minute before departure and then click start ride and then this arrow to go back so we are ready to go so it's 10.01 it's very nearly 10.02 which is our departure time you can see on the top of the sat nav device it says departure 10.02 so I'm just going to wait till it ticks round which it should do very shortly we skipped forward to one minute before. It's 10.01 and probably about 50 seconds now, I should think. So it's almost there. Shouldn't really leave before your departure time. 
minutes a long time when you sit and wait for it. Got to be near enough there now, surely. Let's start moving. Okay, there you go. It's 10.02 now, and we're just about to pull out, so we've pretty much hit that line. Okay. Now let's just make sure that we're... using those other buses. The road looks clear, so we can pull out there. And the lights change to red. It's me. Me and traffic lights. They always go red just as I approach them. That's true in real life as well. It all does seem to happen a lot. Okay, space bar to put the parking brake on. Nice city though, look. Very well modelled, isn't it? Looks beautiful. Well, hello passengers. Okay, so hopefully these lights won't be too long. There we go. And we can try and get out of the city. Once we get out of the city, obviously a lot less in the way of traffic lights. At the moment they're all on red. So we're going right here. So I'll indicate right. I'm going to stop. Parking brake on again. It does look pretty good though, the city, I must say. City of Castle, I assume that's how it's pronounced. Castle, Castle, something like that. So. I think some of the roads could do with a bit of resurfacing, but other than that, it's quite nice. I guess the bus station was probably down in the city centre, so we're sort of heading out to the outskirts of the city now. There's a fuel station to the left up in front of us. We're going right, but there's a fuel station up there. But we had a full tank of fuel anyway, so... That's what I'm going to get round that one. It's only just changing. Now we need to go left, and the right is actually on green. Shocking. Actually got a light on green. Good lord. Okay. Let's just... That couldn't last, of course. The next one has to be on red. So in terms of your passengers and checking them in, you've really got three possibilities. You've got the pre-booked, in which case check them off on your list, they want to buy a ticket, or they're trying to go on the wrong bus, and you have to tell them, no, 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 this bus doesn't go there. What is that guy telling me? Just about got round him. Why, why he was pulling across there, I don't know. German law doesn't say you've got right away in that situation, does it? Surely not. Okay, so... We're getting there. Hopefully we will soon be out of the city. As we drive around, you may notice bus stops, but we don't stop at any of them. It's all we're doing is going from Castle Bus Station to Paderborn Bus Station. So any buses that stops around the city are for buses that run around the city and stop at various points, obviously. But that's not us. The okay, lights are changing, I can see the lights changing. All we need now is the people in front of us to go. Eventually. Okay, and of course the lights change again. I 
they didn't seem to be green for this direction for very long at all. That seemed a very quick change. So I guess that is more like a main road in front of us going left and right and therefore that gets higher priority than we do. So unfortunately we're going to have to wait a little bit. As I say you can't do anything about traffic lights. They're just a fact of life I'm afraid. Here we go. You do have to watch the AI. It does some strange things occasionally. I mean, it's. I have to say that it's hard to break the um, It's not the worst AI in the world, I have to say. Where does AI go? It's, it's not too bad, but it does still do the odd weird thing that you need to keep an eye on when I'm speeding. Just enable the cruise control. Okay. Now another feature of Burn Bus is what they call dynamic events. So things can happen like road works, roads closed, police doing vehicle checks and so on and so on which mean that your difference, your sorry, your journey can be different. So just because we might see that particular event on this journey from Castle to Paderborn, you might do another journey on the same roads, but the event is not there, or there's a different event. Where, so they're dynamic, they change, roadworks appear, go away, so on and so on, which is pretty much how it should be. And what I wish Eurotruck would do, really, Okay, so we're going to head around here, and now we're pretty much out of the city, so hopefully not too many more red traffic lights to deal with. So we need to go right here. This is not a traffic light, this is just to give way. We're okay by the look of it. So now we're going on to a motorway, I think. There's a first introductory route. This should give us a good idea of what Fern Bus is all about. And just how cool some of the scenery is, to be honest. This indicator moves out. Okay, so we're in a hundred kilometre an hour limit now. For those of us who are in the UK like myself, we're driving on the right and it's all in kilometres an hour. So, a little bit strange to us, but that's the way it is. The sound of the cars going by is pretty cool. They've got that pretty accurate, I've got to say. And we've got 72 kilometres to go. It's 10.38, we've got to be there for 11.18, so we've got 40 minutes. So we need to keep our foot down a bit, I think. So we're going to try and get up near 100 kilometers an hour and set the cruise control. And see if we can get there on time. They will complain, the passengers, if you're late. I had one lady saying, oh, I've got a date or something, can you get there, please? And you know, other people got appointments or whatever. They generally don't complain if you're early. They're pretty happy with being early, as a rule. All on time, of course. They will complain about your driving if you do bad things, like hitting vehicles or whatever. They will complain about that. And I need to be in the phone. We're going off up here, so I need to move in. There you go. Okay. So Magdeburg, I think that was, and Paderborn on the signpost. That's what it looked like. 
what the sign says here. Oh, Hanover and Paderborn, I beg your pardon. Key thing is, it's Paderborn, that's where we're going. So we'll take this exit, Alsfart. German for exit, from what I can make out. Literally, I think it means way off. House is off. So I think that literally means way off, but we would say it's a motorway exit. Okay, so we can head round here. Nothing coming there. And now in a 70 speed limit, you just keep, need to keep an eye on the speed limits. They do change quite quickly at times. And that light's on red. So we'll put the parking brake on. Okay, so parking brake is on. You can see there's a red symbol in the... If I take it off, see that red symbol go off? And now it's back on. So that tells us our parking brake is on. And the digital display. The coach is very nice and so I like the display and everything. And look outside, key one will take you outside for a look at our bus. You can see on the sign Hanover is straight on, Paderborn, which we want, is left. See the birds tweeting. Here we go, we're off. Okay, so we'll get round here. And straight on to Paderborn now, 40 kilometres, and we've still got 23 minutes to do it. So we hopefully should be on time, I think. Barring any incidents or anything to delay us, we shouldn't be far off on time, I don't think. Should be nice for the first run. Be a good start if we've got our first journey completed to schedule. And you will see you get bonus points at the end, there are also penalties if you have earned any penalties along the way. When we get to the far end, we'll have a look at all that and see how you earn points. There's various categories, and you're driving, how you dealt with the passengers and ticketing and all that stuff. So when we get to the end, we'll have a look at that and you'll get a better idea of how you actually earn points. So in terms of graphic settings, I've got it set pretty high, but you can set it to whatever works best for your system. I have got 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I can get away with pretty high settings as a rule. If you've got less RAM, like most people probably have 8 or 16 gig, then um, you might need to... Did I say I got 32 megabytes of RAM? It's gigabytes of RAM. 32 anyway. Most people have got 8 or 16. So, on that basis, um, you may not be able to max out all the settings, but if you play around with them, you'll find the settings that work best for you. So, truck area there. And there, look, trucks over there. So, it's starting to look a bit like Euro truck. Oh, I've just been caught speeding. I just noticed I was going slightly faster than the speed limit and was braking. Just too late. Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. So that will show you how we get a penalty, because we will have a penalty at the end now for speeding. Sorry passengers. We're not speeding now, I promise. I know you've got a passenger complaint about it. Okay, so we will put the parking brake on. So we're now entering Paddleboard and we are going to be 
on time or very slightly late. Won't be late by very much, but if we're stuck at red traffic lights for long, we will be late. Go on, guys. Remember, we are now in this 50 mile an hour limit. Fifty kilometre an hour limit, which is roughly thirty miles an hour, I think, which is what we have in the UK in in cities. So that would make sense. It's now eleven eighteen when we're supposed to be there, and we are just around the corner. So we haven't done bad. We're going to be a couple of minutes late. But basically, that's been red traffic lights that cause that. I mean. There is nothing you can do about red traffic lights at the end of the day. Here we go. We haven't had any major disasters, which is the main thing. I haven't played Burn Bus a lot, so I'm still getting used to it myself, but you can have some disasters. Well, I have, anyway. You accidents and, oh dear, all sorts, really. But, soon get round it all, soon learn, and you'll soon get the hang of it. And, to be honest, I'm not sure what he just said, but Probably something like, oh my god, we're here. Uh, F5, open the front door, seat leaves the seat. So I need to go outside. There's my passengers all just got off the bus. I need to open that so they can get their luggage. Okay, having done that, if I go back to my seat, and then hit escape, and hit log out, and that will get us our report. Okay, so all green on that. We didn't check in or sell any invalid tickets, so we sold one ticket, we transported 11 people, uh, so everything was good. Completed the two stops, contact with Central, uh, refueling, we didn't run out of fuel, so that was fine. So, service. Uh, we didn't get anything for being on schedule because unfortunately we were slightly late at the end. But everything else is green. Resting quality, there was no need to rest because it wasn't a long enough journey, but on longer journeys you might need to rest. Traffic rules, yeah, we got one speed camera, but other than that everything's fine. Driving behaviour, safety distance broken. Hmm. Not quite sure where that is or what that refers to, but... Maybe I was too close to the car in front of a set of traffic lights or something. Okay, so continue. And that is us. We can go back to the main menu. Click OK. So that is the end of that video, guys. And join me next time when we'll set up another route, perhaps going a bit further, and see where we go from there. In the meantime, happy bussing. Take care. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And subscribe for more Fernbus Coach Simulator updates. Bye now.